If we get the virus here um, from Lust, rather than take it, as much as I... As much as I do want to take it, I think we're going to do a quick reroll. The only reason we would want to take it is, one, we'd be able to poison things with our Holy Mantle plus the speed upgrade. But secondarily, we'd be able to get spun. And I don't think, I don't think I'm too invested in that. So, whoa, I'm pogging. I am loving almond milk. Very, very fortunate reroll there. Though, uh, almond milk does not a one run make. Uh, tarot cloth. Oh. Uh, you know what, I'll take it. I am feeling really, really badly. The lack of not being able to play. Are you kidding me? Two explosives? You're gonna hit me with the Minecraft on top of a freaking uh, doctor's remote? This is below, that's not the secret room. I'm actually living in a crazy world. I'm feeling the, the FOMO for risk of rain returns, dude. Ugh, the fact that it came out so quickly, dude, and on top of that, I also just don't have time to play it, like, you know, because I, I do have that semester project coming up, and also there's the final big group assignment that I have to deal with with my other class coming on. I, I just don't have time in my schedule to afford to do that. Uh, and God, seeing all of my other friends and seeing even some of my fellow Skellos almost got hit by that, that would have been a foolish mistake. Um, is is really stoking the flames of my FOMO and that's not uh, My desire for a mother get it FOMO mofo. They're kind of like similar in a way, but not at all anyway uh, I'm sad I'm sad that I don't, I'm not getting to play it. And you know, when it, when I first heard that it was announced, I, I talked about this on stream, I'm pretty sure, but I really wanted to, dang, wanted that bomb to hit Lil Horn because we're spending 10 trillion years here fighting him. Um, I really wanted to go back and play the original Risk of Rain 1 uh, to completion before Risk of Rain Returns came out again because I kind of wanted to draw a parallel, you know, get the distinguishing factors between the two because I know they've added a whole heck of a lot on top of just a, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, aesthetic remaster. Um, and did you, do you guys know if they did any touching up of the, you would not hit me with an Omega Troll Bomb? Good. You didn't. Um, I like meat. I'll take it. Now, let's see if we can't get uh, our panties rerolled. Ooh! This will surely be my undoing, but it is a funny item, and I just can't help myself when it comes to funny things. Curse of the blind? You're pulling my dang leg, dude. Uh, but speaking of curses, though, I have actually been thinking about, like, what am I gonna do when I get dead god? with, oh, I don't have a key, in Isaac, right? Because it's not like I want to stop playing Isaac. And I've thought about going for the uh, the triple, um, what's it's called? Uh, when you get three dead god files in a row, it gives you the dead infinity god thing achievement. It's not really an achievement so much as it is just an accolade, but I would very much like to have that under your, me belt there. And yo, anxious skeleton, good morn to you as well as, te as tell, as well. Anyway, anyway, I was talking about streaking, and I'm not talking about when you go into the, the football stadium naked, okay? If you, if you are unaware, in the Binding of Isaac, there is this culture of streaking, which is to win runs over and over and over and over again. And there's a couple of different streaks that are well known. Um, Tainted Lost streaking is the big one um, that came out with Repentance. But on top of that, there's also just random character streaking. There's daily challenge streaking. There's um, before there was the Tainted Lost, everybody was doing regular Lost streaking since they were the hardest character. There were Eden streaking as well. Um, and so I, I kind of have been doing a little bit of thinking about that. Aegon is streaking? No, 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 do not look at me. I am totally wearing pants underneath my uh, rib cage. You just can't see it because they are the Emperor's new clothes. Let's first see if we can't. No keys, I have blundered irreparably. I need another key, man, I'm wasting. I didn't want that. The waste of money, chef's kiss. Shut up, Shiki. I don't, I don't need money. When we're, we're going, we're going to, um, what's, what's the name of Buddhist, uh, when you, when you ascend? We're going to Nirvana. That's my favorite Limp Biscuit band. I, you can't make this up. The fact that it has deigned to give me Mr. Boom on top of Doctor's Remote and freaking Minecrafter, three items that literally all they do is give me a, a bomb. Next thing you know, I'm gonna, no. 
Next thing you know, I'm gonna be getting freaking uh, Bob's Rotten Head. Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. Oh, you know what? Uh, okay, I remember what I was gonna say about streaking. And it's not so much about streaking as it was about potentially trying out, like, an entire save file challenge run. Because there, there have been entire save file... What? How is that not our stupor stinkert room? We have enough bombs. Egon is very good at wasting Isaac's money. That I am. That I am. It does appear to be the case that that is the truth, Shiki, as much as I wish it were not. Alas, that is the life I'm leading. Whoo! Dude, I hit him with the dip. I hit him with the dangle. I got my balls hanging straight out my pants. Oh, what pants, you may be asking? Well, my eyes are up here, I'll have you know. <laughs> Woo! I am sexually harassing my chat on stream. Now this is epic. Okay, let's calm ourselves down a little bit. Yeah, I'll take, uh, I'll run directly into the brimstone laser beam. How could you tell? That, I was a little scared. Okay, let's, let's just take it nice and easy. Defeat our enemy. And we have defeated them. Do I go for a blind double deal? You know what? Screw it. Let's go crazy. Let's go a little wacky. I'm really not feeling this item's energy. This this mojo it's got going on, I'm not about it. Let's hit him with the quick reroll. Vengeful spirit. I'm not pogged, but I am, uh, at the very least, willing to entertain carrying this along with me. Ooh, let's reroll. Nothing of value. Let's quickly reroll this fella. We're going to reroll again. And it's gone. Let's real quick hit a quick reroll. Best bud, a quality zero item. What is the fetish for when you like flies? I actually, you know what? I'm better off not knowing. Please do not tell me. I think it's called Moscophilia. Mickey, Mouska, Miska, Moscophilia. Google says for Mikophilia. Whoa, anxious skeleton, braver than all of us, willing to brave the depths, plunge the dirty, dank, uh, detritus covered because flies eat poop. Haha, <laughs> uh, depths of the internet. Me when I say depths twice. Dude, that's just like Isaac. You go to depths two times? Whoa. Isn't formicophilia for ants? What if it's just bugs in general? Speed and range. All of these items got me sleepy. What is this? A fetish for ants? Okay, actual banger. Somebody give that person a, I don't know, what, what do you get? A life sentence. That's right. Go directly to jail. Do not collect $200. And, um, oh, they're hugging. Dude. Wow. That's the, the miracle of life. I've been thinking a lot about making actual like good edited content right and i've been trying to think up oh wow oh I, I need mom's purse can i get a belly button please i'm looking for a belly button right now right here can i receive one it does not appear that uh, we are going to receive one or at least it is significantly unlikely but i would very much like it come on come on come on if it gives me Cracker Jack, I will spit in their face and in their mouth. It's not a fetish thing, okay? It's platonic. Platonic mouth spitting. I think we're probably better off re-rolling this fellow than we are re-rolling Spun, even though we are partially getting the mom's tra mom transformation. And, well, would you look at that? To be fair, ants got the badonkadonks. That's true. That is very true. Hot dog lesbian bringing up the honeypot ants, which, Jesus, if you got an inflation and an insect fetish, let me tell you, the real world is uh, ripe for your uh, oyster. Yo. Do you think, do people who have like inflation fetishes, do they have, do they like, like ticks? Like that, that suck your blood and get all engorged on it and stuff? Okay. Uh, you know what? I've decided not to go back to the thing that I was talking about while I was in the mirror world. What happens in the mirror world stays in the mirror world. And instead I'm going to move on to talking about video essays. I think this is good enough. I, I am willing to take an odd mushroom. You're funny. I don't need that item. I like nightlight. Uh, so I'm gonna take it. Pandora's box. Okay, going to the chest doesn't give us anything. We'd have to go to the dark room if we wanted to get the unlock for that, which I guess I'm not really too interested in. Though I am interested in a boss item right now. Hold on. And, you know what? You know, we could, like, put it in a secret room if the secret rooms would actually show up for once in their goddamn lives. Also, I literally am dead. Pay out the doubters. I should have I should have hit control way earlier. Very unfortunate, especially on such a promising run like that. Uh, even though some would say taking marked is not promising. But dang it, dude. 
Ah, frustrating. Key bum. Psych. I have no treasure room. I have no style. And I have a funny face without grace. Dude, I cannot believe this. Was that an Elden Ring reference? To continue the thing that I was mentioning previously, uh, I want to make like video essay, but not even just video essay content. I want to become like a video game scientist. And I'm not talking about Gimmer, the video game scientist, but ooh. Okay, Satanic Bible. And yes, I am gonna pronounce it that way. I think I think we want Satanic Bible. And that is because we can always take devil deals for free as the lost. Sorry, Eternal D6. I know your balls are massive, but I think we're actually probably gonna go with uh, Satanic Bible just because we get more devil deals. We got a interesting run here. I hope it, uh, surely it will not die as inconsequentially as was in the previous run. Surely. Uh, but anyway, I, I was talking about being a video game scientist, and really, what I... Yo, Seraphim, welcome! And, uh, forget me now. So, uh, hold on, reroll. Well, feels bad. Anyway, I wanted to talk about being a video game scientist, and I know that sounds like really stupid and really boring, but I have so many questions about video games that I want answered and the only way to answer is to get into the nitty gritty and start looking into things and start understanding the code of things and start doing xyz and like this isn't just for isaac as well this is this is for do i want fast bombs no i'm taking unknown kidney stone i love having kidney stones don't you love when your inner urethra is torn to shreds by a jagged object being forced through it let's become video game scholars together yes that's the dream honestly dude i i do all kinds of crazy things um but mostly mostly i I'd want to do it for roguelikes because obviously there's there's tons of questions with isaac uh, and and another thing i want to do i want to become a wikipedia person i want to become one of those people who contributes to the knowledge of the world and and actually you know provides tangible benefit for those who are like myself and have questions that they want answered and so how can i do that if i don't become you know a, a, a scholar and a scientist who's understanding all the in-depth craziness of the, of the universe right vapor skull welcome in homie how you doing my dude i was gonna do a, a wednesday joke because it is wednesday adams my dude what no way my goth gf all right we're on several layers of irony right now you were like a little baby man watch this suck me when i uh use the eternal d6 and suck an item all right no he got me to blow my load again i hate wormwood i hate wormwood so much he is my least friend he is unfriendly he is not cool and he is not invited to my birthday party wormwood sucks i'm you know what instead of r slash bloat now i'm i'm on the r slash wormwood and i ain't talking about using the worm -ussy. i'm talking about put this person in the gallows hang them from a freaking uh, 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 hangman post hello kidney stone thank you for um delaying my attack there ever so slightly fortunately i have acquired the pact which is a good item now, can I get a devil deal of a similarly good item? The answer is no, I cannot get it. After it deals 666 damage, it is absorbed by Isaac, increasing his contact damage. Oh, that's contact damage. That's garbage. <sighs> it's free, so I might as well take it. With how many layers of irony you delve, you'd think you were a Homestuck reader. Absolutely not. Get that home stink out of here. Hold on. I, I've, I've gone off on too many tangents. Let's get back to the video game scientist. I'm going to Satan. I love Satan. Rock tinted. Where? Oh, yeah, okay, it is here. It is. You are correct, Sarah, once again. Wise in the ways of the Nicene Creed. What does that mean? Uh, I don't know. No, my kidney stone! I was gonna hit him with one tear! I'm so mad! Uh, I could do the funny haha, -ha, but then uh, I couldn't do the funny haha. -ha. Alright, let's do the. Ooh, oh, big tears! On top of creating, like, being a Wikipedia person who actually goes and updates the wiki for video games and what have you. On top of that, I would actually really, really like to be, I'd want to create like YouTube series about things. And I realize that's probably like 100% not the best place to put it, but at the same time, if I'm gonna be writing up wikis, I at the very least wanna be getting some YouTube ad revenue on it. And so one of the things that I thought of doing is doing like a, a deep dive of every single bestiary creature in the game. And then another thing I thought of, you see these little flies on the floor right here, right in front of me? 
those are creatures that are not that those creatures in particular but there are flies and maggots and stuff that have like simulated yeah yeah look at this look at him he's running away from me coward coward do you see that i want to go into like each of the little things on each of the little floors and talk about their behaviors and what governs it go into super depths like that like knights that sega game that had that it was like the precursor to the chow garden right we've all seen that video essay about the chow garden from that one person right and they they were talking about how knights dude what what the is the secondary title to it i can't remember uh spicy skelly would know because he was actually playing it the other day that game it had like a virtual pet thing situation going on and it was like super complicated but literally nobody would ever be able to possibly understand it without doing like big analysis nights into dreams thank you so much sarah but the whole the whole virtual pet part of that a normal player would absolutely never experience that not once in their gut life right and so i kind of like i want to get into those nitty-gritty details to provide people with the knowledge that they may not necessarily like have a real desire to know but yet would still exist like look at all these flies moving around you see them you see these flies that are attracted to me because i'm a stinky smelly fart boy i want to learn about their behaviors and what governs them and why they exist and what they do stuff like that right and and uh, yes yes I don't know, something, maybe, ooh, a secondary devil deal. I was not expecting this. And I've also thought about doing challenge runs. I, I really do like challenge runs. I used to do them all the dang time back when I first picked up Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, and what have you. But I've kind of fallen out of favor of doing them. But I have a couple of ideas in my back pocket that I don't think I'd like to share live on air for fear that, uh, you know, some ne'er-do-well may, uh, you know, steal my ideas and then strike while their iron is hot and while my iron OC is unfortunately a little tepid. I want to do the kinds of challenge runs that are like the theoretical ones, you know, kind of like the, the A button challenge um, in, in, in Super Mario 64, right? How they, people have to get into like super in-depth detail about how every single thing works and i kind of want to outline like all the basic mechanics of okay here's this challenge here's the things that we're going to need here's how this is going to work here's where it'll work on this and then i'm going to throw together a spreadsheet that has all the characters and how long it takes you to get what on each one and then this thing and that thing and -ah! that's that's what i want to do i want to get into these crazy absolutely nonsense niche cockamamie ideas and i want to play with them i want to put my fingers right in there and give them a little diddle in their prostate the male nipples are an erogenous zone. Why did I say that? How do I get both of these? Hold on. Can I can I push this guy through a wall? No. Stop being ejected from the wall. Go, 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 go. Get in there. If I could get this guy, then I could get... Oh, let's go, fellas. That's also one of the things I want to do. I want to examine how exactly, you know, boundaries work in Isaac. Because there's all kinds of funny shenanigans. Like, you can walk through the floors in crawl spaces if you get small enough. And I want to figure out what the heck is the behavior that governs all those things. Because, like, in, in Super Mario 64, everybody knows that, you know, a quarter step is a quarter step, right? You know, it, it, the physics evaluation is made on like 13 different levels or, or four four i'm having a time a quarter step is a quarter step and a half a press is a half a press you can't was that the hourglass after we just left behind blowing at blowing hourglass glowing hourglass stapler i think this gets rid of some funny haha -ha bookworm but watch this watch this new tech just discovered uh yeah, because now i have kidney stone and now watch this oh i reset my charge well that sucks that's fine, though. We can kill our enemies. Uh, not if we spawn inside of them, though. Despite what you may have just witnessed there. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. But yeah, that's that's the kind of stuff that I really do want to do. I want to do, like, theoretical challenge runs. I want to become, like, a pan and coic, but without all of the work and effort that comes with, like, tassing stuff like that. Although I wouldn't mind actually doing, like, crazy haha -ha task stuff. Uh, which TAS, if you don't know, stands for Tool Assisted Speed Run, um, which on their own are also, like... A whole nother can of worms worth getting into. And there's there's so many freaking things that I want to do and so little time to do it. Why did I come in here? I'm so dumb. I was going to get my deal with the planetarium chance. Dude, I will never think before I act. I had a dream last night. 
Um, the dream that I had actually was related to kind of a, a childhood trauma of mine. When I was a young schoolboy, our, our family would take some vacations, um, and one of our annual traditions was to go visit our uh, extended family. And me, me, Pat Pat was not a very nice fella. He was, he, he's very standoffish, very um, lone wolfy type person. He has, if you talk to him about his interest, he will absolutely talk back to you and he'll get even like a little heated about it, but he is very much not interested in um, in niceties or, or really, you know, getting to know each other. He is, he's a man of his own interests, so to speak. Um, and, oh, rib of greed. What a funny item, and it's gold and two, but I will not take it. Grandpa was a bit of a, a curmudgeon, okay? And one of the things I was very afraid of was getting Grandpa angry, because boy, did he get angry sometimes. He he was a little bit of a yeller, and that is not to be understated, but it's only if, you know, something like dumb or bad happens. Like, really, I think the biggest problem was we were kids, and he does not understand kids, and does not like kids, is, is I think really what it comes down to, and basically, uh, so when kids would do rambunctious or dumb things, that would set him off. Anyway, one of the big things that would usually set him off was if we were too loud in the morning, like, because while, while we were staying at his house, because, you know, we drove across the country and what have you, uh, do I want to spend all my keys on this? Yeah, whatever, dude. This is, uh, rerolls all pedestal items. <gasps> yes, I love that. Very good. What? Dude, I have to pay for this devil deal. You're joshing me. Uh, it's a good item, though. I do want that. Uh, so this story about me, Grandpa. All of this is kind of, is, is background for the dream that I had last night. And last night, I was walking into Grandpa's house. You could try and put, like, scatole on the ground. The juice ain't worth the squeeze. Let's, let's hit the reroll machine and be done with this floor. So Grandpa doesn't like it when kids uh, make noise early in the morning. And it doesn't help that his room was uh, on the on the first floor. I, I say that because we would sleep in the basement, the farthest place away from where his room was. So when we're playing downstairs, it's not really an issue. It's just a problem when we want to, you know, go play outside or anything like that. Because his room is right next to the, the windows to the backyard and what have you. Anyway, the dream I had, I was listening to a video essay, as I do. And I was walking in the room to bomb friend why bad enemies do not give them to me i do not want them and by enemies i mean items oh big chest i was listening to a video essay and somehow on my phone i managed to get two versions of the youtube app open playing the same video and for some reason uh as i was as i was walking into my grandpaps uh or the the grandparents house um i started putting it on quiet right? But then the second version of the app that I had pulled up, for some reason, it wouldn't go quiet. It was, it, it would play at full volume. And so now I'm like standing in uh, the mudroom and I'm trying really hard to get this to go quiet. I'm trying everything. I turn, I like put my phone on sleep mode. I try and uh, open up the apps and close down the application. But for some reason, even when I close the app, it's still playing really, really loud. Eventually I managed to get it to stop by literally turning off my entire phone, just holding the force shut down basically and then I basically have a, a pit in my stomach because I'm like okay I know grandpa's gonna be really mad about this and oh dude it tears down really speed, speed down too what the heck man um, as as I, I go back downstairs to go to bed to sleep for the night, I remember Grandpa said if we didn't shut the heck up, he was going to wake up in the middle of the night and he was going to play his trombone right next to our ears to wake us up. After I go to sleep, I wake up and I hear somebody coming down the stairs and I know this must be Grandpa. He's, he's coming down and I think about telling my sister who is sleeping in the same room and I'm like, okay, well, unfortunately, it, if I tell my sister, that means I'm have, I could potentially piss him off even more than he already is, right? And so I decide against doing it, even though that means my sister's gonna awake with a very large fright and it'll be very, very scary for her. So I keep my mouth shut and sure enough, grandpa comes down, he's holding his trombone and for some very strange reason, I don't really understand it, the trombone, instead of having a normal donut shaped bell, it has a flower shaped bell. He absolutely dooted the heck out of it. I don't want you, I want to re-roll you, go away. <gasps> Tears up. Yes, I'm loving life. 
So grandpa, he dutes. And the, the, the dute experience that I had was very strange because it was like, I didn't hear anything. Immediately as the dute happened, like I, I saw him take a deep breath in and then he, and immediately I don't hear anything. The only thing I can hear is absolutely deafeningly loud tinnitus. The Sorry for triggering your tinnitus, but uh, unfortunately that is the um, demonstration that I have to give in order to uh, inform you of what exactly it sounded like. I'll totally buy it. Member card. Get lots of keys there. Oh, funny mom's knife. Now we're not going to pay bum friend anything. And instead what we're going to do is we're going to grab mom's knife. Contact from below also would be really good. Let's buy it. Heck yeah, dude. To finish off this anecdote, all I heard was ee and that was all I could hear. I couldn't hear anything else. I couldn't hear the trombone blaring. And I imagine this was because that's just how dang loud the trombone was, right? Also, wow, what a fast freaking payout there, dude. Heck yeah. Uh, okay, so ID Occult, unfortunately, does not do anything with mom's knife, but I guess that's fine. We still are dealing absolutely incredible amounts of damage at the drop of a hat. Grandpa starts saying something as I am deafened and I can't understand it, of course, because I, I can't hear anything. And then I look over, I, I immediately, I start saying, I'm so sorry, but you know, my, my phone glitched. It was a technology issue. I really, I didn't mean to, I didn't want to. Uh, I hope you can forgive us for just this, right? Basically just kowtowing and asking for forgiveness. And I look over at my sister and she is saying something, but I cannot understand it because I am completely and totally deafened. Um, and that's kind of, that's literally where it ends, actually. Uh, so, end of story. I hope you liked my uh, story time and my life story as well. All those things. Guppy's collar would be really good when we have contract from below and achievement. But I think we have to go with the goat head, right? Goat with the head, head with the goat on it. Let's see what's in our item room. Proptosis and tech zero. Dude, I would like that. And I receive it. The only, only thing I have left to add on to that anecdote really is uh, it's it's kind of funny just because it plays on to my, my deep-seated childhood fear of my grandfather uh, and, and what he would do, you know, when he is mad. And, you know, it it's just goes to show those traumas you receive as a, as a youngin, they do be persist, per, persistent, persisting chapel until uh, the old and age of 3,000. So don't let yourselves... I don't know, what, what, what's the, the key story to that? Don't become the trauma to another child, okay? There we go. We have finally Dorid our final explored. Aegon, you traumatized me in the best way. Wow! Kinda, I have another anecdote, actually, that I think is somewhat related to that, if a little bit fam-histed. Whoa, little chub, I like that guy. Um, even though I'm not going to pick him up, because proptosis is banging. Wow, yeah, yeah! So there's, there's this common practice that is done when analyzing any given situation. And I guess it kind of depends on from what lens you decide to analyze things from. But it, it, I was thinking about this in the shower and I kind of thought, hey, there might be like this this tertiary or the, the trinity of analysis, I guess is, is one way to put it. Do not steal my money. You coward! So from, from a political perspective, it's not just pol politics as well. It's from a, a lot of different ways, actually. What a lot of situations of any variety come down to, or at least that people boil it down to, is power, right? You know, it's all about the power dynamics. It's about who has the, the power to do this and to do that, right? And then when I was thinking about that, I was kind of like, okay, but what about what about Harvard Business School? Or, or I think it's like Chicago School of Economics or something, where basically you turn everything into, or you, you analyze everything through an economic lens. And then uh, that got me thinking, okay, so when one does view something through an economic lens, what is it that they're actually looking at, right? They are looking at the value that is provided by something because in a way you can break down any situation to the values that it, it, it provides for us because that's kind of inherently what humans view things from is is the value that they provide treasure rooms in the cathedral we're going to the cathedral you know what screw achievement i'm not really even using it i was a greedy man but i was not punished thank you I was also greedy there, but I wasn't punished. If it was the other champion, I totally would have gotten hit there. That's no good. Money! 
I hate bum friend. I shouldn't have picked him up. I always do this. I, I always hate bum friend, and I always pick him up anyway. All right, and then the third locus. I, I, I've mentioned before that uh, I do like stoicism, Greek philosophy of stoicism, and kind of examining that. And I was thinking about it, and stoicism, what it tries to boil everything down to analysis-wise is control, right? It is to figure out what it is that you can control and what it is that you cannot control and to let go of your attachment to those things that you cannot control. Like, sure, you can influence things, but at the end of the day, you have to understand that your control of any given situation or of any given thing is is limited. Also, money equals power. Poggers, even more reason to uh, not give our money to bum friend. I love not giving money to bum friend. But yeah, so the, the, the tr three trinities, I feel like. You can you can boil things down to control, you can boil things down to value, and you can boil things down to power, right? All of those are, are kind of equally valid, I feel like. You can also pretty equivalently convert them, though, uh, you know what, let's, whatever. I'm just gonna use algae's to jizz it up. Oh, that is the Curse of the Maze. I feel like part of this is also accompanying my, my like analysis arc, if that makes any sense, because Freak you, dude! I wanted that! I even, I, I feel like this even kind of extends to how I am at work right now, and that is uh, this analysis arc that I'm going through, where I'm trying to understand things very deeply, um, and trying to become kind of a master of my domain, a subject matter expert, if you will. Uh, we are probably... Uh-oh. That was way closer than it ever should have been. No! Dude, Curse of the Maze actually would have been responsible for losing the run there. Oh my gosh. Oh, Smelter. Okay, I will totally take Smelter. I actually have not really played Age of Empires 2 before. I know for a lot of people, Age of Empires was like a foundational part of their childhood. Um, let's make sure we buy or grab the Polaroid there. Uh, and let's make sure we kill Krampus. Hello, Krampus head. I'm gonna keep the smelter because it's a funnier item. Nothing personal. Um. Dang, I got myself sidetracked again. Rotten baby! That'll get me conjoined. All those other things were sleepy. So Dwarf Fortress, what it tries to do is... Similar to The Sims and similar to RimWorld, it tries to regulate or, or simulate the emotions of the actual creatures there. And it, it actually, now that I'm thinking about this, also, in a strange sense, kind of even goes back to uh, what I was talking about. Oh, he took the luck upgrade! I'm mad. I'm so freaking mad at this guy, dude. I hate bum print so much right now. Okay, so Dwarf Fortress tries to simulate emotions. And more so than that, what it tries to simulate uh, beyond just the emotions and needs of a, a normal person, which, by the way, Age of Empires, for comparison, does not do that. Your workers do not have needs. They do not have desires. They are literally just actionable figures. Not to be confused with action figures, right? But in Dwarf Fortress, there is... I, I don't want to say autonomy because that would be implying like Age of Empires doesn't have autonomy, but the level of autonomy granted to dwarves in Dwarf Fortress is much greater. Uh, it is it is akin to something like The Sims if you never played, um, not, not if you never played The Sims, but if you never, um, hold on. Why is there a shop? I'm going to take Lucky Toe. I guess I'll, I'll take this for now because we, we do have a treasure room, right? Grab the habit. Why did I grab the habit? Because I can grab car battery. That's why. Spear of Longinus also interesting. Hold on. I, I'm getting a little sidetracked here. Oh, holy water. I want to grab that, dude. Monstro's chicken. I don't want you. You got no balls uh, and you have no wife. Don't take it personally. Um, it's just the way of the world that we live in. All right. Uh, so Dwarf Fortress simulates emotions and sims also simulates emotions and needs and drives right your, your sim has to eat your sim has to take a pp your sim has to have fun right uh or else bad things happen 
And it's the same in Dwarf Fortress. You know, you, if you do not accommodate your dwarves' needs, if they, first of all, if they don't get food and drink, they die. But second of all, they will have tantrums. And RimWorld's the exact same way. Your col colony? What, what's the word? Colonist. That's the word. If your colonist doesn't have their needs met, if they are forced to do things that they don't like, or if they have to live in a dirty environment or something like that, they also have tantrums, right? So there's this element of lack of control. And I think it's even more pronounced, that lack of control, in Dwarf Fortress. And honestly, I think, God, I would, if I could, I would really love to write, like, essays about this. Because I, I now I'm thinking about, oh, you know what? Craft the World as well has this, everything is autonomous, right? You have work orders that you queue up with your villagers, I guess, for, for lack of a better word. And these work orders... Uh, amongst the, the pool of villagers, depending on what they have going on, they will decide amongst themselves and each other who is going to pick up the task. And there's obviously, there's like an efficient answer to it. Uh, and then there's also kind of like the actual who wants to do this, right? Whose responsibility, whose job is it to do these things that Dwarf Fortress tries to accommodate for as well? Um... And that, that I also find very, very interesting. And I, RimWorld also kind of does that, but it's mostly a skill-based thing, right? Your, your character does things well when they ha are, are high skill, right? And there are skills in Dwarf Fortress, don't get me wrong. But uh, I think beyond the skills, there is... Dwarf Fortress is funny, like they had a bug where the game breaks, where if the cat is in a bar, goes on an alcohol puddle and licks it paws. Yes, yes, I love... Indeed. The bugs, as a result of Dwarf Fortress's um, lengths that it goes to for um, simulating a world, are so freaking good. If you go to the bug list on DwarfFortress.com, you could find some absolute freaking bangers. Okay, I'm getting off on a little side tangent here, so please do do forgive me for that. But when I when I learned that Dwarf Fortress was coming out on Steam, I was absolutely pogged out of my gourd. I do want to play Dwarf Fortress. I that's if I do become like a video game scholar, I think Dwarf Fortress probably is one of the games that I want to play the most of all um, because of all the questions that I have, all the things that I'm wondering about that I don't understand. And I, I want to become understand of those things. Ooh, the wafer, it's useful. Not. Another thing is, I'm so freaking surprised that there haven't been more Dwarf Fortress players out there. Like, when I when I heard it was going to come out on Steam, the greatest barrier for entry, that is the, the actual graphics of the game being completely and totally unintelligible as a result of being made up entirely of ASCII, um, is, is fixed. Now everything has a corresponding GUI element to it, uh, even if it's, you know, a little hard to see sometimes because of the overlapping nature of, you know, big enemies on small tiles and stuff like that. At the very least, you can see what's going on. You can tell what's going on. You, you can see a tree and you know this is a tree. You can see leaves and you, you know this is leaves. You can see an enemy and you know this is an enemy, right? Just immediately from the onset. And so I thought, you know, the, the greatest barrier for entry to Dwarf Fortress, one of the most powerful, one of the most extremely interesting games, one of the most powerful in terms of actually producing good content games on the market. When it comes out, surely then thousands of YouTubers will pick it up. And that hasn't been the case at all, at least from, from what I've seen. Uh, the I was I was a follower of Dwarf Fortress before um, the the big update here, uh, and I, I love Krug Smash. Krug Smash gotta be one of my. That was cheating, but okay. Hold on, do not pick up the left hand. That is a bad idea. We want chests uh, because I like uh, ladies with a large bosom, uh, and I like men with large bosom. As it turns out, you know what? I gotta be honest with you. I'm kind of a fan of large bosoms. Perhaps that's strange of me, but I cannot help but share with you my, uh, my, my sexual inclinations and desires. All right, we're strange. I'm weird. What can I say? There he is. Blue Baboon defeated. The body has been unlocked. Normally, we would have Godhead now, since we have every completion mark besides Repentance, but I guess they updated Godhead to also include Mother, so... I guess let's go ahead and get the show on the road for starting that. Pay out the believers, by the way. What I'm about to tell you may very well shake you to your core. There are over 200 skeletons 